Now for something new and completely different. Hi, welcome to this week's video where I am really digging stuff out of my hat to try to bring something to you. I have not been out of the house for obvious reasons and when you don't get out of the house you sort of miss out on some of the self-care items that you can check off the list, one of which being going to the nail salon. I haven't been in over a month so my nails are trashed. The gel that I had on previously, you know when they start lifting in the corners and it peels and then it becomes a full-time obsession of peeling them completely off and until they're gone. So I got to that part and then I buffed them and I put on a clear coat and called it a day. And then I realized that there are so many new glue on nail options these days. Do you remember the old Lee press on nail commercial? With these Lee press on nails, you too can have salon tip finishes right in your own home. Things have come a long way since Lee, uh, all different kinds of styles and colors. And so I happened upon this brand, Majosi. And I really liked, and what I also love, you know, once upon a time, it was either nude, French manicure, or red. And as you know, there are about a hundred different colors available. So I, I sort of gravitated to this taupey color and this grayish color. So I'm going to try this taupe color adhesive nail now. And I've never done this before. I have never done glue on, press on nails. So we're gonna kind of go through this step by step together. Today's Tuesday. The video will air on Thursday. I'm only gonna have two days to be able to show you how they're wearing and if they've lifted off. But it says you can wear them for seven days and beyond. And it says if you wanna remove them, you just soak them in warm water after seven days and then they start to lift and then you can have that wonderful peeling experience that I so seem to enjoy myself. All right, so let's get to it. I am gonna open up this pack. We will walk through step-by-step step how this works. Ah, ah! Okay, so let's first read the instructions. Step one, choose the best size nail to your finger and set aside in order. Step two, wipe each nail using the alcohol wipe provided before applying. Step three, apply a thin layer of glue to the back of the glue on nails and your natural nail. Step four, starting at cuticle, press on firmly, hold for about 15 seconds until dry. Step five, file the nail if necessary. Caution, warning, warning, do not apply to weak, damaged, or infected nails. Okay, I, I do not have either. So the first thing that I have to do is figure out which nail size is going to fit my nail. And they say to always go on the smaller side. No, nails are going everywhere. Hold on, kind of sticking to the lid. Look at that. What the heck? That is so weird. Do you see that? I'm kind of close. All right, pinky, pinky. What is that a pinky too? Oh, I don't know, maybe that one fits. No, that's too wide, that's too wide. That's what they were saying, be careful. Next size, ring finger, that's a little small. Let's try that one. That looks like it fits. I've got little nails is what I'm discovering here. Very little nails. And there they are. So now that the nails are selected, I've got two options. You can either use these adhesives that come like so to stick, or you can do the glue. And I'm going to, because it can't have any lotion, potion, or anything that will prevent the glue from adhering to the nail, mine and the press on nail. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so here we go. Got the glue. I guess I'll start on my left hand since I'm a righty. 
All right, it doesn't say anywhere to snip the top of this, but I'm not seeing how the glue is gonna come out if I don't, so I'm gonna give that a try. Aha, uh -huh. I see glue. Okay, let's get going. Then layer, yep, and there it comes. this on here. Okay, and then starting in the back, firmly press. And they say to hold down the cuticle, firmly hold for 15 seconds until dry. That seems pretty dry to me. Cool, I like the color. All right, onward, press and hold. This one I probably could have gone a little bit smaller with. I can feel it on the outside. It feels a little too big. Feeling it is <laughs> too late. <laughs> it's, it's on and it's on a little crooked. Oh well, I have one crooked nail. That's kind of funny. <laughs> it's kind of far for the course if you ask me. <laughs> Okay, whatever. Let's make sure this next one is a good fit. And it is. Now I'm paranoid about making it straight after that last experience. One hand done. Nails are on. <laughs> Although this is an epic fail. Why? Because I put them on backwards. <laughs> Except for one. How do I know that? because I thought I was doing this one backwards, but I was wondering why it was looking so hard right here at the cuticle line and not like it was blending in until I realized that that was supposed to be at the end and this softer part that kind of arcs in is supposed to go at the cuticle, like this one, like that one. That's correct. Those are incorrect. <laughs> So now what? <laughs> this is so sad because this is a product that I think actually works, except I totally messed it up. I told you I've never done these before. Um, I don't know, I guess at this stage, I just, I file them and shape them and deal with them until I soak them off and try again. I'm such a moron. <laughs> okay, you knew I'd find a way, I'm getting crafty as I'm filing these nails down, I'm also filing just a tiny, tiny bit here in the nail bed, see like so, and just bringing it down a little bit to eliminate that hard line because I put them on backwards. Normally you would not have to do this, but it is definitely helping to smooth it and flatten it out a little bit and making it much more natural looking. Now check this out, the crooked one that I did, I'm gonna file this sucker to look like it's normal. Okay, that helped. And now just getting in here. Like I said, you would not have to do this normally, but in my case, it's taking care of my mistake. Much better. See, we're getting there. All right, nails are on and filed and they look pretty doggone good. All things considered. The one that was put on correctly obviously looks the best just because of the way the nail sort of eases into the nail bed as opposed to the creative filing I had to do on mine. But overall, I'm just gonna chalk it up to residual COVID brain fog that led to this little mishap. It is not product error, it is human error. <laughs> but I think they're really pretty and, and very cool. Uh, they were easy to put on once I figured out what I was doing. And if they last 14 days, that's gonna be epic, okay? So I'll keep you posted, but they look really neat. And for press on nails, I think they're real modern and if you can't get to the salon and you want to have something that's going to last longer than two or three days and won't chip off then maybe this is the answer if there's anything else you'd like me to try or demo let me know leave it below and i look forward to seeing what you come up with but this was a 
shall we say, interesting creative process. <laughs> Go out, be bold, be blessed. I hope you nail it, and I'll see you next Thursday at 1 o'clock. Bye.